Virgos, hey lovies, welcome back to another video. This is Empress Meek and welcome to Tarot Tea with Empress Meek. This is our new channel. Thank you so much for all your love and support over here, guys. You are showing off over here. You are making sure that this channel thrives. Um, and you are definitely setting the tone. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, Virgos. I love you. You know you're my soul tribe. And I always want to let you know I appreciate you. So thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you for booking your personal readings with me and your donations, everything you do for me, your blessings in the comments. I really, really appreciate it. And if this is, um, these are, if it's my newbies that I'm talking to, guys, I really love you. And you're going to see over time how I express that. Okay? And don't forget to check out our other channel, um, Closer to My Destiny's Tea, because some things came out that you definitely need to see. I'm actually going to be um, reposting it so you can pick it up um, so you can see it and just go ahead and click on it. Um, but yeah, it was talking about somebody doing spell work and projecting. So you definitely want to take a look at that because you need to cleanse your energy. And I give you some pointers in that video, okay? So go ahead and check that one out. <clears throat> it's the last one that I posted over there. The one that says you need to watch this. All right, loveys, let's go ahead and dive into your energy and see what Spirit wants to tell you about. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels. Thanks for bringing me here with my Virgos. Thank you so much for all you do in the Divine Realm, seen and unseen blessings. Thank you so much, Spirit, for the way you bless me. Thank you for allowing me to be abundant and walk in your wealthy place. I thank you so much for allowing my heart to overflow with love and healing energy. Thank you for allowing me to be powerful, okay, in more ways than one. And thank you for allowing me to be a great healer and protector. I appreciate all you do in keeping my divine collective protected. All right. Thank you for giving them abundance and overflow and allowing the anointing to trickle down. Thank you so much for all you do. Amen. Amen. And amen. All right, y'all. I'm talking a little bit low. So that was a lower octave. All right. Yeah, y'all. I be singing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into your reading. So show Virgo what messages you have for them and what's coming toward them. What's the message for the day for Virgo? Time to step into your power. Take the lead. I feel like this is not a time for you to be wavering in your faith. This is not a time for you to be um, wavering in your confidence. This is a time for you to stand firm against adversity, against anything that's challenging you and push through because spirit is saying you belong here this is your blessing okay you're in your season all right and this is your harvest season and you do not want anybody to interfere in that okay we got unleash your kind of self here so spirit is encouraging you to turn the other cheek hold on one moment sorry about that lovies okay so we got unleash your kind of self so you want to focus on the positive spirit is encouraging you to take the high road no matter what is going on around you um, even in times when you're unsure of how things are going to play out for you, Spirit is telling you to, um, stay optimistic, stay strong and believe. Okay. This could have something to do with the Capricorn. All right. And step into your power, new moon and Aries. So Capricorn and Aries could be significant here so far. <clears throat> what else for Virgo Spirit? Okay. Find a balance. So there may be a situation that you need to find balance in. Full moon and Libra. So you could be dealing with the Libra and you need to have balance. All right, you have to turn around and turn the other cheek and be kind to a Capricorn. That's how you win with that person. And then step into your power with Aries. You might have to make sure that you're standing your ground in a certain situation. All right, attend to the details for a quarter, um, for a full quarter moon in Virgo. All right, so I feel like there is something for you to um, find out. There is something for you to discover. I feel like if you look a little bit deeper or you pay close attention to a certain thing, then this thing will come out and, and, and reveal itself to you. So you have to pay very close attention to the details in order to get this information that you need, okay? All right, so we're going to find out what this is, okay? Um, overall, Energy Virgo, know your worth. Know you're amazing, okay? People watch you. People admire you because... You have you yeah, you have that essence, you know, you have that essence about you. You know, people really, really aspire to have some of the gifts that you naturally have, okay? So they want to know, how do you remain balanced? How can you be so grounded? How do you turn the other cheek so easily? You know, how are you so loving? How are you so, you know, abundant? How are you bringing in this money for yourself? You know, people want to know. So they find a way to get in your energy, be your friend, or be close to you to find out, all right? I mean... Spirit is saying, know your worth. 
So know why that energy is surrounding you. Know why these people are intrigued, you know? Let's see what else, okay? Let's go a little bit deeper and find out exactly what this is saying. Let's see. Spirit show Virgo clear messages. What is going on with this energy? Why is step into your power here? feel like you've been challenged a little bit or maybe just not feeling hmm I don't know it's a situation that's asking you to to arise you know to rise to the occasion to show up all right and this has something to do with a secret admirer and a reconciliation so somebody's admiring you somebody wants to see you maybe they want to see you again after this initial meeting this person could be an Aries all right, but we have the pineapple here for reconciliation and the secret admirer. Then unleash your kind of self. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So you guys are on this spiritual journey, this journey of awakening and finding yourself, getting closer to who you really are inside, aside from what people expect of you and you following through with commitments and what have you. All right, and then we have um, waiting for news, a package, or a letter. All right, so some of you find in balance, you guys should, could be waiting on something to help bring some things into balance for you. Some of you are waiting on news to find out if you're able to move. Um, do you have this job? Are you going to be starting this school? You know, are you going to be able to move out of state? Like, you know, you want to know these things. You guys are waiting, being patient. You've been dil diligent in doing things to make sure that this doesn't get blocked for you. So I feel like this news is coming in. Okay, attend to the details. Someone new is entering your life. So spirit wants you to make an effort here with this person. Um, get to know this person, meaning attending to the details, meaning make effort to get to know. All right, share information, you know, open up. Don't be closed up. This is, um, I feel like for some of you, this is a blessed partnership. Some of you ask for friends and um, new people in your energy that you can vibe with and spirit is giving you that. So for know your worth, let's see. Oh, you got two more cards that flipped over in here. Well, three. Wait, dang, how many is this? Okay. All right, you got all these that flipped over, so I'm going to give you all your messages. I don't want to skip anything. Let me just make sure it's no more because I didn't see them. They flipped over in my hand. Okay, so for some of you, something significant having to do with an older woman, so you could be dealing with an older woman. Something that makes you need, um, maybe you need to find balance with this older female. Could be a mother figure, sister. I feel like it's somebody's mother. This is your mother that you need to find balance with. This lady is stern and she's like stuck in her ways. And I feel like she's a little bit um, prideful too. It's like she, she knows that she's causing issues and she's just like, I'm the mother or something like that. <laughs> Courage, a journey, either physical or mental. And then we got tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead. So I feel like just slow and steady is going to win the race, Virgo. Don't get distracted, okay? Believe in yourself and don't give up too soon. I'm feeling like you're almost there. You're bringing in something big and spirit does not want you to give up, okay? Somebody is working against you behind your back. And you already know this. We always pick up on that energy. Um, we definitely do. Um when you're great and you have amazing attributes about you and you have a lot of talent or you're just you're just a pleasure people want to destroy that they're mad they're jealous and they have a problem with themselves you know and i feel like somebody could have been working to, working against you i'm um, trying to create some type of disappointment it says disappointment in some affair so i feel like somebody here is miserable all right but i feel like they're I feel like their bark is worse than their bite. Like I said, it's still that same energy. They talk a good one and they do this and do that. But all they're doing is sabotaging their self. This tower is going to fall right on this person's head. And I feel like they're recruiting right now. Desperate times comes for desperate measures. And you have somebody just recruiting other haters and just trying to destroy your image or character for some of you. I feel like. Well, of course, they're not going to win. But I feel like this person is just, it's somebody too, they're too close to you. I know that much. Like, they're close to you. They're in your energy. And I feel like they're desperate or something. Something's happening with this person where they're desperate. People start revealing their self when they're desperate. And they're negative, toxic energy. Like, it's just, I don't know what that is. But this came out earlier for Virgo reading the same energy. 
So let's see. We're going to go ahead and move into the tarot and ask some questions. Let's see what's going on here, Bird. So definitely know your worth and don't back down. Don't let anybody make you feel like you're not worthy or you don't deserve good things and great things because you do. Just like they do. So let's see what's going on. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Oh, Virgo, clear messages of who is this in their energy. What is the message here for Virgo regarding this energy here in the board spirit? Show us clear messages. Somebody is in deep regret. Somebody's holding it in. Then we got higher self here. Higher self activation. So I feel like somebody is going through a spiritual awakening. Okay. And then we got somebody watching. Somebody spying. Watching you. In deep regret because you're elevated. You're in this high vibration energy. And they're watching and they're in regret. I feel like there's some type of communication here. Let's see. Why the regret spirit? Avoidance and stalemate. So somebody's avoiding reaching out to you, but they regret not having you around. Maybe regretting their decisions, regretting turning on you, I'm hearing. Yeah. Somebody's spying on you um, for clarity, for strength, for empowerment. I feel like you empower this person and they're watching your every move. Um, I feel like I feel like it's just <laughs> Your energy is priceless. Like these people, these this person wants, somebody is watching you and they're in regret, okay? They see you. You could be some type of inspirational person, I feel like, or you're just elevated, Virgo. Let me see what this higher self is. Messages. Somebody could be getting messages. They Somebody is going through a spiritual awakening and somebody is getting downloads or messages. I feel like, Somebody wants to talk to you with this air card, Ace of Air. And then we have third party, I mean, or party of three external. Somebody wants to take you out, possibly. I feel like somebody, somebody feels like they've elevated now. They're in regret about how they treated you. And now that they've elevated, they want to take you out. They want to spend some time with you. Show me this spy card. Somebody's longing for you and separation from you. So I feel like this is somebody from the past wanting to talk to you, wanting you back, wanting another chance. Hmm. Show me regret, spirit. Somebody regrets what they did because you're their wish fulfillment. You're their wish. So now they, they all they can do is watch you. Avoidance, stalemate. So you're avoiding this person. Oh, this person has avoided you. When it was an opportunity for you to be with this person or this person to be with you, they avoided you. Show me empowerment. I feel like this person just played games. All right. And we got ancestors and spirit guides here. So I feel like somebody is trying to get clarity from their guides. I feel like somebody, somebody went through an elevation. I feel like somebody you spoke to. Something that you said to them triggered this person into an elevation. Um, whatever you said, whatever seed you planted, this person couldn't stop thinking about the communication. And I feel like that communication elevated this person. Now this person has the clarity about how they really felt, how stupid they were to let you go. And this person is really in regret. Yeah, I feel like somebody has found their path. They're on their path. Yeah. That's crazy. Let me see. Let's see what else is here because this person is thinking about you. What does Virgo need to know about this energy here with the boy spirit? What does Virgo need to know? What is Virgo's message today about behind all this energy? What is this? Pay attention to the details is here though. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. All right, so Virgo, know everything happens for a reason. Children are important in this partnership. New love is here. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. Wow. Everything happens for a reason I'm hearing. To so say that again. It's like you can say that again. Decisions. It's time to decide about a relationship. And then warning. Don't miss the red flags here. 
Wow. This person is unavailable to give you what you need. So no matter how promising it seems, this person is not going to be able to give you what you need. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling like Spirit is telling you to abort this mission or detach from this. The idea of being with this person. I'm feeling like even, even though you help this person go through some type of spiritual awakening, they still aren't available. I feel like they're they're either they can't, they're physically unavailable or they just have a lot that they're working on on themselves at the time. They can't really focus on you or this connection. So let's see, Spirit, show me clear messages for Virgo. What's the advice here for Virgo? Hmm. Communication. Is this cutting this off? Why is the Ace of Swords here for Virgo? Wow. We got somebody wanting to come back from the past. Somebody that is, somebody loves your innocence, your purity. They're, they like your energy, all right? It's this beautiful energy and they love it, all right? But somebody wants to talk to you, somebody from the past. I feel like this person has been contemplating, thinking really hard about your decisions. I really do. I mean, I think I think they were thinking hard about your communication, whatever you said to them. They also have been thinking about how you guys used to travel and see each other. They want to come and see you. This person might want to take you out, okay? Um, you could be seeing this person around or there's somewhere where you guys can walk together or talk face-to-face. -face. This is either face-to-face -face or FaceTime or something like that. It's closer than just a phone call. I feel like this is the initial communication, and then this person is going to want to come back. I feel like they're going to reach out to you. Um, this person can't get, I'm telling you, this person cannot stop thinking about what you said. Whatever you were saying to them, it makes them think about how innocent you are and put them in this place of just wanting to be with you, wanting to be a part of you. You know, it, you made them change. The things you said to them made them change. And I feel like this happened really fast. But now they're about to come toward you and this is going to happen really quick. But Spirit is saying, but don't, they're going to be calling, you could be FaceTiming this person, but you're going to talk to this person, all right? This person could be trying to come and see you at your house, or wanting to come and see you, or you met this person out at a store, at a mall, anywhere, somewhere out, okay? But this person is thinking about your communication, yeah. For, a lot, for some of you, it's this person from the past wanting to come back and feeling regret, because we got separation here. I feel like for some of you, you could have seen this person. Because of this, I feel like you could have seen this person maybe on, on the phone, but on video. Yeah. But Spirit is warning you of a third party and confusion um, and saying that this, oh, I feel like, I feel like this is going to lead to another betrayal and heartbreak. Like for those of you who met somebody and they messed up and you're not giving them a second chance, it's because you knew that they betrayed you. It's going to end up in a heartbreak feel like there's a lot of confusion here about a third party situation. Somebody could have also been doing spell work to try to figure out what you're doing. Look, somebody could have did a, um did spell work or tried to get a reading to find out where you're going, how you're moving, who you're seeing. Mm -hmm. What's your next step? So this is crazy. <laughs> this is a trip, Virgo. So yeah, we got this person. Somebody is on their way towards you, they're either going to video call you or call you. Or some of y'all, y'all might get a pop-up visit, but this person wants to talk to you. I feel like this person misses having a family with you, but this person is a part. Look, this, this is all this person does. This person goes out with other people, talk to other people, and just do whatever they want. This person is nobody's person. They're everybody's person. There's, <laughs> they're nobody's main person. And your guides are here to warn you about this connection, Okay. So, Virgo, I feel like this new love that's coming in, there's some type of issue here with this person, okay? So, I feel like it's not going to work out. Male or female energy, you need to pay attention to the red flag. Spirit is going to be revealing something to you about this person, okay, loveys? All right, I will talk to you sooner than later. I love you, love you, love you. Thanks for everything you do for our channel, and I love you when I mean it. Bye.